Hey everyone, Chef Patrick here from Sabroso. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're showing you two similar Latin dishes, Venezuelan arepas and Colombian arepas. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing. But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools. Te vamos a enseñar una receta del baúl. Slice, dice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild. We got it, you just named the style. One in a meal, culinary skills, prestigioso. Todo queda sabroso. Starting with the dough, I'm going to prepare the Venezuelan version in the left bowl and the Colombian version in the right bowl. They both will use a corn flour called masarepa. This is the popular pan brand, which is gluten free. In both bowls, we'll pour in equal amounts of the masa arepa. If you're just doing one version, measure out one and a half cups. We're also adding kosher salt to both. Venezuelan arepas often incorporate cheese. Here we're adding queso fresco. Colombian arepas are usually reddish in color, so we're adding some achiote powder. Mix the ingredients in both bowls before adding the liquids. To the Venezuelan ingredients, we're adding hot water and olive oil. Stir to incorporate. Once the dough comes together, begin mixing with your hands. I like to use my hands because it gives me a better feel of the dough. To the Colombian ingredients, we're adding hot water as well, but we're also adding melted butter. Stir to incorporate. Achiote is used in many other applications in Latin cooking and is the main ingredient of the popular Latin staple, sazón. Now we're going to flatten the dough into a disc that is around half an inch thick. Smooth out the cracked edges by dipping your fingers in water and pressing the side of the dough until smooth. Repeat the process with the Colombian dough. Reserve some of the dough for later. Place the Venezuelan arepas on a griddle or saute pan with a little bit of oil. Cook for about three to four minutes on each side until the arepa is crispy and golden brown. Beautiful. For the Colombian arepa, we're frying it in canola oil at 375 degrees. The top of the arepa will begin to puff up, so to help it along, spoon the hot oil on top. This will help create a pocket for our filling. Remove the arepa onto paper towels to drain. In a ramekin or small jar, add one large egg and season with salt and pepper. When cool enough, make a slit in the side of the arepa, like you would an English muffin, creating a nice pocket. 
Place the egg inside of the pocket of the arepa. Then seal with the reserve extra dough. Then fry again until you reach the preferred doneness for your egg. And there you have it, Colombian fried egg arepa and stuffed griddle Venezuelan arepa. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like these, click that subscribe button and you'll stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.